Hey what's up guys and welcome in this new tutorial where I'm gonna show you a bus saturation trick for your tech of tracks. So before starting with this tutorial I would like to remind you that all of the samples used in this project are from our sample pack Rapture Volume 5 which is a collection of minimal deep tech one shots, loops, construction kits and much more that you can check out from the link in the description below. So let's have a listen to the track that we're gonna use. <laughs> So it's a really basic minimal deep tech track with a full drum loop which includes the kick and some top drums. Then we have the bass line, some hi-hats and percussions, a synth, the vocals and a texture loop. So what we're gonna work on is the bass. So let's have a listen to the bass line. So uh, it's a really simple baseline, we don't have uh, uh, a lot of processing on it, just a bit of compression and the sidechain. So this technique that uh, I'm going to show you is really useful, especially if uh, uh, you want to make your baseline stand out on some smaller uh, audio systems, so the phone speakers or some other portable speakers, because with this technique uh, we will be able to boost and add some more presence in the low to mid range to the baseline without interfering with the low end. So the way we're gonna do this is with this send A, which we uh, call the base, we can call it base processing, and uh, we're gonna go on the base channel and uh, put it to zero. So now we're gonna have the full base signal coming into the send channel. So the cool thing about this trick is that you can do that with the plugins that you have inside of your DAW. So in this case we're gonna use Ableton but I'm really sure that you can find the equivalent plugins for your DAW as well. So the first one is gonna be a compressor. We're gonna use the glue compressor and with the, some similar settings to the one we've used on the baseline. So we have a slow attack, faster release, but we're gonna do a bit more uh, compression around minus seven to minus eight dB of gain reduction. And we're gonna increase a bit of the makeup right around 3 to 4 dB. And now we are uh, preparing the baseline for the rest of the processing. Next thing is gonna be an EQ and we're gonna cut everything below 140 Hz. Yeah, also 150 works good depending on the baseline. We're putting this after the compressor so that the compressor can work on the entire spectrum and then we can only focus on the top frequencies. And then the uh, final step is uh, the saturation. We can use the Ableton saturator. We can try a bunch of different algorithms. So we're gonna go around for dB of drive. So I think that the soft sign and the medium curve are the best one. Yeah, let's try the soft sign first. And the way we're gonna work on this is that we're gonna put this send to zero and we're gonna slowly blend it into the mix. how it uh, really fills the space that is between the low, mid uh, and mid section and it adds quite a lot of character to the baseline. In fact when we uh, turn it off we can uh, really feel that something is missing. <laughs> Let's try the medium curve as well, even if maybe a bit too aggressive. Yeah, this one also works well, but we have to keep the gain of the sand a bit lower. Down, 
another way that you can do that uh, is inside of the actual channel of the baseline. So we're gonna copy this chain, we're gonna turn off the base processing and we're gonna set the send to zero. And inside of the base channel, we are gonna add an audio effect track and we are gonna create two different chains. One we're gonna call it dry and the second one processing. Instead of the processing chain, we're gonna drop our uh, chain that we had on the send A. And uh, here once again, we are slowly gonna mix in the gain. <laughs> So the only difference here compared to the sand is that the sand is acting post-processing. So after we've done the processing here on the channel, while the audio effect track depends on where you put it inside of the chain. So uh, I usually tend to put it towards the end, right before the side chain. So it doesn't really mess up with the, the rest of the processing that we have on the baseline. So yeah, basically that's all for this base saturation trick for your tech house tracks. Don't forget to check out Rapture Volume 5 from the link in the description below. Let us know what tutorials would you like to see next and I'll see you soon. Bye. Down.